been fishing with the one uh fly i tied and um it's uh it's doing really good i uh i took some um i took a the max catch hook the number 12 and basically uh i just put a little um uh, bead head on them and put a uh some rubber the little rubber what i use for popper legs at the back like a little tail and and basically put some um i like using this uh super fine uh waterproof dry fly dubbing uh, you can get from like home uh, i'm about to say home depot i mean uh any of the big box stores bass pro cabela's and stuff like that you can get off amazon and uh, it's waterproof so it doesn't hold water but um Sometimes I just experiment tying flies up and every now and then I run into one that does really well and I've been using one and uh, I was uh, I went blue bluegill fishing day before last man I was throwing everything like top water subsurface flies uh, little streamers everything I just could not get them to bite and then I, I forgot that I had some of these tied from probably a year ago so I put one on and man, they just start tearing it up. And then I, I tried it today. We went down to um, a pond for sackway fishing and the water is so high here in Louisiana right now. All the, all anything hooked to the Amy and Comey River is just super flooded at the moment. And so we went out to uh, Ponchatoula Park and uh, I was, uh, I didn't bring my camera with me. And I went out there and um, I called uh, I called about three or four uh, nice sized bluegills and I hooked into I think it was a big sackley about probably, probably a pound and a half sackley and it got off but uh man it was like they for some reason the bluegills love this fly so basically I got I got my bead on there and I, like I said that's a size 12 uh, um, I think that's a caddis hook on there they don't really tell you what it is but you, these are nice these are barbless little hooks and you get from these are mass catch hooks and you get uh you get a hundred of them hundred of them for like nine bucks man so you can't really beat that and i'm gonna take some of that plastic leg and and i'm gonna put on there and kind of like how, how you do a jitter bee and the weather is the weather's windy windy right now it's just oh Louisiana man we've just been getting front after front after front after front after front sick of front mother nature is going to do what mother nature does and it doesn't really matter what Terry thinks about it all right so I'm, I got my little tails my little tails on there so kind of like you when you start a jitter bee you get, you get your legs on there now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna uh, take some red wire. This is the uh, small, small wire. Go ahead and tie that on there. Get that on there good. I usually go halfway at my wire and do an under loop on it. Try to keep it in place. Oh, them bluegills, man, they 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 tear them flies up. Them flies don't last long. All right, so I got my wire on there. I'm gonna move them. I'm gonna take some of the black. This is one thing. This is one thing I am not good at. I I am horrible at uh, dubbing. Horrible, horrible, horrible at dubbing. And I seem like I lost my chapstick that I was using for wax. That's awesome. I don't know a clue what I did with it. Hmm. Anyway, just use a little spadiddle. Start building up the uh, building up the body. Some people make this look so easy. I make it so hard. Got a little bit on there. Fairly easy tie to tie. Fly to tie. Tongue tied today. Might need some more coffee. Oh yeah, that hit the spot. All right. Basically, I'm just building up the the head right there. A little bit of dubbing goes a long way. All right. 
so I got my I got my body on there take my wire this this is basically a beaded niff I think I think that's what it is this is a fly that probably do really good and uh, for trout so I'm put my wire on there to hold my dubbing down give it that nice rib rib look So a lot of people they'll take um take something like a peacock curl or something like that and do a, a carapace and then fold it back over. You can do that if you want. I don't do that. So I got I got that one right there. What I do do I take um I get this braided material. You can get it from like uh same place you can get it from the big box stores, low Home Depot, I mean low Home Depot. I keep on saying that. Um, basically it's like a little card it's a little lace card but it's uh you can get it different colors Ooh, look at that wind bro another front the heat front rolling through sick of fronts bro every other every other day it's, it's a front here Louisiana cold front warm front cold front warm front cold front warm front horrible for fishing We had our uh, we had our two day winter here in the south, and I guess that's it. So I take a little of that sparkle stuff and tie it on the tie it on the front right there. Nip it just enough to have it a little bit on the top right there. Just just a little bit of sparkle on it. And that's all I want on there. A couple wraps in front of it. Very easy fly. I don't know what I don't know what they think this is, but it's something it's something in, in all waters here that looks like this. Maybe some type of dragonfly nymph or something like that. I'm not quite sure, but that's it. The 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 last two videos of uh, me catching those bluegills, that's, that's what I was using. It's just a simple little um, beadhead nymph with red wire wrapped around black dubbing with little black tails. But it's working down here. I can't wait to try this. If they bluegills like it, I can't wait to try it out in like Henderson, someplace like that where I can get I can get a uh, get some big bluegills on it. I went up and try it if you're local. See what it does. Let me know in the comments.